Matillion ETL version 1.70 is now publicly available to all customers. In this video, we'll show you what new features and improvements are included. For Matillion ETL on all platforms, MariaDB is now available in the list of database types when using the database query component, giving the ability to run SQL queries on a MariaDB database and copy the results to a table. For Matillion ETL for Snowflake, we've added the Assign Tag component. This component allows you to assign existing tags to your Snowflake objects, enabling you to better track object usage within your Snowflake Enterprise account. Tags can be applied within a schema on the following objects. External table, materialized view, pipe, procedure, stage, stream, table, task, view, and columns. This component allows you to assign an existing tag created within your Snowflake database to an object as part of a Matillion ETL orchestration job. Also for Matillion ETL on Snowflake, the Anaplan bulk query component has been added. This new component uses the Anaplan API to retrieve bulk data and load it into a table via an Anaplan export or custom view. Also, the SAP ODP extract component has been added, which is available as a public preview offering and enables Matillion ETL users to connect directly through SAP ODP to access available data sources in SAPI and ABAP CDS view. For Matillion ETL on Snowflake, Amazon Redshift and Delta Lake on Databricks, the following features are now generally available. Manage external file sources. This lets you connect to and sync with the source code repository hosting service. Currently, the supported version control system is Git. Manage external file sources is available through the project menu. Then complete the fields to connect to an external file source from Git repository. Sync file source. A connected file source can then be selected in the new sync file source component. This component fetches the latest commit for a specific file source. After a file source has been added using Manage External File Sources, the Sync File Source component added to an orchestration job allows you to sync files as part of a Matillion ETL job. And Run DBT command. This component will allow you to run DBT commands in your Matillion ETL instance. DBT will need installing on your Matillion ETL instance before you can run dbt commands. For Matillion ETL on Delta Lake on Databricks, all query components can now stage data using Databricks personal staging. In a query component's properties, click Stage Platform, then select Personal Staging. Also, you can now configure concurrent connections in your Matillion ETL environment settings. And these are the new features in Matillion ETL version 1.70. Please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the latest releases, and for more information on everything covered in this video, please visit the Matillion documentation site.